As you can see in my background, there is this uh, stained window, and it's based on the parable of the sower. There's this farmer sowing seeds and, you know, like different kinds of soils. Uh, but the fertile soil is where the seed blossoms, flourishes. I see in this stained window what the original congregation of this church did. So they were, they were coming out of the earthquake experience. Their lives were shattered. But they, was, they still had faith and hope and love for each other. They wanted to rebuild their lives. In 1908, they got together and formed St. James Presbyterian Church. And when the building was, was uh, completed sometime in 1922-23, they learned of this stained window lying somewhere in uh, Nevada. They took it, then they put up in this, in this building. Because they do believe um, that like the sower of the seed, which is God, to plant into the, the hearts and the lives of people who are so broken because of a natural calamity, the great earthquake of 1906. The sower God put in them important things like faith in God, faith in God who rebuilds. They believe that they still love for each other because no matter how broken they were, the love for their families and community was still there. Through the, 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 the brokenness, the, the destruction that they saw in their lives because of the earthquake, they still had hope. That seed of faith, hope, and, and love, it was with them. And so they moved on to build the church, to be a congregation that reflects all this. Through the years, they existed as a Presbyterian church because they were moved by their faith in God, their love for each other and their community, and the kind of hope that there's still something else beyond the brokenness and destruction that they experienced. And so I believe with this stained window symbolizing the sower, the God who puts faith, hope, and love in any of us who would believe in Jesus Christ. This is what they decided to do, to put up this window here. And this church today, after 115 years, we're going to take care of it because it represents what God had started in this community. Visitation Valley and this church will work together so that together as a community, we will have that kind of shared faith, shared love, and shared hope for something good or many things good that will still happen here in this neighborhood.